Hello, and welcome to this first producer's notes to DCS A10C Warthog. Uh, Warthog is the next DCS module after DCS Black Shark, and as the name implies, it's a simulation of the A10C. In this first note, we'll do a basic overview of the A10C, and then in later notes, we'll look at the various subsystems in uh, much, much greater detail. Now, the A-10 has been serving in active duty since the 1970s in both the uh, U.S. Air Force, Air National Guard, and also in the reserves now. Uh, initially, its primary role was to kill tanks, but times have changed, and today uh, most A-10 operations over in Afghanistan and Iraq are much more in low-intensity conflict, uh, supporting U.S. troops and allied uh, forces uh, in those theaters. Uh, of course, the heart of the A-10 is the uh, GAU-8A 30mm Avenger Cannon, uh, the A-10 has uh, very straight wings that provide uh, excellent lift and turning capability, uh, but at the same time they do limit overall airspeed. On the back of the aircraft are two TF-34 turbofan engines that provide great fuel economy and uh, damage uh, sustainment capability, but like the, in, uh, the wings, they definitely do uh, limit overall airspeed. On the tail of the aircraft, you have uh, uh, two split elevators, and of course you have two very large uh, rudders that provide excellent yaw capability. On the trailing edge of the wings, you have uh, two split uh, trailing edge flaps, and you also have ailerons on the end that actually split apart to form air brakes. Underneath the aircraft are 11 uh, stations, uh, three under the fuselage and the rest under the wings, and several of these are actually 1760 smart stations that can uh, be loaded with uh, weapons such as JDAM and WICMID. So let's go back to the cockpit. Now the A-10C cockpit is quite similar to the A-10A cockpit um, with the following differences. Now up here um, below the HUD, you have the upfront control panel, the UFC. On the front dash on either side, you have two multifunction color displays. And then below the left uh, MFCD, you have the AHCP armament HUD control panel here. And then the stick has been replaced as well, which um, is very similar to the F-16 stick, except um, it is a full movement stick, unlike the, um, uh, the four stick on an F-16. And the uh, right throttle here has actually been replaced by the right throttle from an F-15E. Other than that, most of the other systems are uh, identical, if not very similar, uh, to that of the A-10A. Uh, so that concludes this uh, overview uh, note, and in the next note, we'll learn how to start up this aircraft. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this note, and I'll see you next time.